Good afternoon. Welcome to a new video. I know it's been a while. I've kind of taken a little break since Leadville from the videos, but I'm getting back into it now. And I'm also headed down to a race this weekend. This weekend is the Black Bear Rampage. So I'm heading back down to the Ocoee Whitewater Center. I absolutely love this race. I look forward to it every year. I'm going camping. So I'm gonna camp for two days before the race. So I'm gonna be in the rooftop tent and I'm gonna kind of show you besides my normal riding gear, and my gear for camping. I want to give you an idea of what I bring in order to do any maintenance on my bike while I'm on a weekend trip like this. Just to give you an idea of things you can do to be prepared. So the first thing is is that I have a part tool toolbox and it's just a plastic little toolbox and I usually keep the majority of my tools in it anyways in my garage so I can pretty much just grab that and take it with me. This is the AK38 advanced mechanic toolkit. I'm not an advanced mechanic but I'm working on it. There's been a lot of times where I've used tools in it that I never thought I would use so that's pretty cool. Extra CO2 cartridges, uh, some lube because you never know, a bunch of the wrenches. I've got some of the Torx wrenches down in there as well. An extra chain, lube with a towel, a uh, chain cleaner which I doubt I'll have to use it. I have extra brake pads for a different bike and then just the normal tools like a pedal tool, uh, various wrenches, all that kind of good stuff the basics for tools that you would need to work on a bike. And of course I have a multi-tool with me as well. So if for some reason I don't have something in here, most likely the multi-tool will take care of it. So on top of bringing those tools with me, I also bring my part tool torque wrenches. One of the main reasons why I bring those is because I always like to check my bolts before a big race. You know, I could check them now, but we're gonna be pre-riding on Saturday and we may ride for an hour or two and who knows what could happen. Along with that, I bring a brand new spare tire this is the exact tire that I'm running and I have a bag of some sealant as well and then I also bring my Bond Traeger flash charger air pump so the reason why I bring a tire sealant and an air pump that can seat the bead is that if something tragic happens during the pre-ride I will swap out a tire put new sealant in it and be good to go a true story a couple years ago when I went to the Austin Radler which is what like a 16 hour drive, 12 hour drive, I can't even remember anymore. I actually cut a tire on a pre-ride and luckily we just patched it, but you know, the whole time you're second guessing that, that tire or if you have to put a tube in it, you're always second guessing yourself. I actually feel a lot better with a brand new tire and new sealant and just starting over. <laughs> I've finally made it to camp. I have got the tent set up and I have had dinner now. So now I'm just finally gonna chill. Good morning, it's uh, the following day. And today we're gonna pre-ride. Today's Saturday, the race is tomorrow. I seem pretty tired because I went to bed late. It took me a long time to fall asleep and I slept in a tent. <laughs> what more is there to say? I don't know why we we're pre-riding so early, but that's what somebody decided. So I'm probably gonna take a nap in a hammock later today, which sounds awesome. We're about to get in the car and head over to the Koei. It's about a 15 minute drive from this campground, so it's not too bad. But we're, where are we at? We're in a parking lot. At the top of a mountain? On top of a mountain. Yeah. For this area, you know, this isn't Colorado. Oh gosh, no, I can breathe. <laughs> so we're about to get on the trail, run the trail down to the Whitewater Center, and basically that's it. And then someone's going to ride back up here and get a car? Not me. <laughs> Let me tell you that, two miles up here on the road is not happening until tomorrow morning. Okay, well, let's hit the trail. What are y'all doing? Uh oh, we can't say. Just grab my hand from him sin. We need to unite.
finished up our pre-ride and now we're just back at camp and I'm gonna get cleaned up and basically just try to chill out for the rest of the day. It rained for a while and then it kind of cleared up and actually dried up a little bit and then it started raining again. So I'm gonna end the video here. Tomorrow is the Black Bear Rampage race, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to check out the next video.